All right, students uh, are believe that they are consumers of their um, courses, uh, and this is an attitude that we hear all the time, that somehow they are in charge because they pay the tuition and they should have some say in what occurs in their course. And certainly, they are, uh, this isn't a surprising attitude because they are consumers in their everyday lives all the time, as are any of us. Um, and when you pay for something, you expect some sort of return on what it is that you're paying for. However, this is a sort of attitude in, in that faculty members typically bridle against, um, and this isn't too surprising either. We don't want to have them dictate what their uh, desires are in terms of their interests uh, in the course, because we don't want them voting by choosing what course or what topic they're interested in. Otherwise, they wouldn't receive a general university education, which is what we're trying to provide for them. But we can use this consumer, act, uh, consumer viewpoint as a way of getting them to learn things, as a way of levering their, our interests in terms of their interests as well. So, for example, one of the things that I do is to provide my notes through uh, Blackboard. I post my PowerPoint slides. This allows them to download the PowerPoint slides and bring them to class. Now, in and of itself, this probably has relatively limited effect on their ability to learn the material, although some could say that they could spend less time writing things down. Um, others say that you know, the act of uh, not writing things down is a problem with respect to learning. So there are two sides to this coin. It's hard to know which, uh, which is the most correct uh, viewpoint. However, the fact that they are given material that they wouldn't otherwise have gives students the sense that they are somehow buying something, that they've bought something. And in this way, I can, as I said before, lever them in terms of learning the information that I expect them to learn. Um, they now have a focal point, a, almost a study guide, if you will, that provides them with information they wouldn't otherwise have had and ensures that they're learning the material that I'm actually providing for them.